We're now joined on the sports mix by Muscleman head football coach Brian Thomas. Coach, your team falls to Spring Mills in this last game, 62 nothing. But obviously, you know, your team continues to progress, uh, show some good things on film. Spring Mills, a very tough challenge. They're an experienced team. They have a lot of guys uh, with that varsity experience. Just what were your takeaways from the game and, and how your team battled it, and what were some of the good things that you saw as you look back on it? Yeah, I mean, we started off the game, um, you know, we started off the game well. Uh, I thought we had a really good quarter and a half. I thought first quarter we played well. Um, you know, we moved the ball a little bit, possessed the ball some, uh, stopped them, um, you know, some at the start. Just, you know, it, it got away from us there in the second quarter. I think they scored two, like two or three touchdowns within a couple minutes span. So, you know, it kind of got away from us pretty quick. But, uh you know, we started off the game solid, uh, started off the game well. So, you know, uh, pleased with the kids for that. Coach, you guys had a scary situation there at the end of the game, but it sounds like from what uh, what I heard from you before we started this interview that things are going to be okay. But for people that maybe don't know about Eli's situation, uh, just talk about, I guess, how he's doing and um, what, what happened there toward the end. Yeah, um, he's doing well. Um, you know, he – uh, I think it was just kind of a lot happening right quick. You know, the, one of the questions they asked me, they said, you know, did anybody have any interaction with them? And we actually talked to him uh, right before the kickoff. So um, we were actually going over some defensive stuff with him, um, just that that was going on. So we were talking to him, and then he went out there. So, you know, we had communication with him uh, right there bef- before then. Uh, I just think he, I just think he was dehydrated a little bit, and, and, and um, you know he got lightheaded and, and uh, kind of passed out. You know that was kind of the scary thing right when it happened was it was a non-contact thing. Just he kind of fell, um, you know, and then he he complained of some chest pains a little bit. So you know right when you do that, uh, you know you want to take all precautionary measures, um, you know just just to to make sure. So uh, you know everybody on site did a really good job checking with him. Um, and then he went to the hospital, and they did a great job checking with him there, and and everything uh, cleared out, uh, and all the tests came back uh, positive, and everything was okay. So you know he was home. I think we left the hospital. It was like right at, around eleven fifteen um, when we when we all uh, left the hospital. So uh, you know he got to go home that night. Uh, you know I checked with him this weekend, and he was he was feeling good this weekend. Said he was just tired. So. Uh, yeah, so you, it, it was it was a scary situation, but at the same time, you know, thankful that everything does look to be okay, and you know he should be back with us again this season. So, uh, you know, just happy for you know life. Life is more important than anything else. So, just happy that health wise, he's okay. That's good to hear. And coach, uh, you head into the bye week this week, so you'll have some time for your team to rest and uh, continue to try to improve. What are some of your goals for the bye? Really, it's to heal up a little bit. You know, we we lost one of our one of our better players, Zach Miller, uh, who's who's a really key weapon for us. Uh, he went out of that game of the Spring Mills game, middle of the first quarter. So you know, we play almost the whole game without Zach. So you know, he he's he's one of of a handful that really need to rest up and get better. You know, we've had a couple kids just playing through injuries all season just you know toughing it out and battling it out so we got about five kids right now that are that are really banged up that just need some rest so this bye week uh really hits us at a good time and coach it's clear that spring mills has made another big jump with their program getting to see them in person what really i guess stood out to you about what they did in the game and just uh overall coach law doing a great job with that program as well yeah, they're you know they they do a good job. Uh, you know this is I I've been the head coach here at Musselman for 12 years, and they, they their first year opening was the first year I was head coach. So they've had a had a school and a team for 12 years. So this is definitely the best team that they've had uh, within the past you know with the, their school's history. So uh, yeah, they're doing a good job. Uh, they're they're aggressive. They're physical. Uh, you know they got they got athletes all over the place. You know they're they're pretty pretty loaded at every skill position. So uh, yeah, you know they 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 they're one of the top teams in the state. You know they'll probably make a little playoff run. Uh, you know they they got a, as good as a chance of anybody. So yeah, really good, really good team. On the other side of this break, you're, or on the other side of this bye, you'll uh, take on Martinsburg. Obviously, you get an extra week to prepare for them, but it's another big challenge for your team. Um, do you like having the buy right before Martinsburg and, and how does that help some things and, and uh, just 
when do you start preparing for them? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. You know, every year is a little bit different. Uh, there's some years where you, 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 you know, you play a team of Martinsburg's caliber. You know, the extra prep and the extra practice is good. Uh, I'll be honest with you. We're, we're probably not even going to watch Martinsburg this week. We probably won't even work on Martinsburg this week. You know, we got to we got to do stuff within ourselves. Um, you know, we got to build up within ourselves a little bit that, you know, we can sit there and watch film on what somebody else does forever, no matter who it would be. Uh, but, you know, we we look at breakdowns of ourselves. And, and, you know, now that we have four games on ourselves, we're able to compile almost like a clinic video on ourselves and say, hey, look what we did this game compared to this game compared to this game um, against this front, against this look. And then, you know, when they ran this play. So, um, you know, right now we're worried about healing up, getting better, um, you know, fixing technique stuff with us, you know, going through and saying, hey, this is what we've messed up the most in our first four games. So this is how we now drill that to fix that. So that, that's kind of our big uh, focus this week. Coach, after the first four games and about halfway through your schedule with this being a bye week, how do you, I guess, knowing how inexperienced your roster was going to be heading into the season, how would you evaluate the first four games in terms of where your team's at now compared to where you started the season? Um, you know, I, I think we've done better on some stuff, you know, looking at some film, there's things where we can say, Hey, look, this is a positive. Hey, this is what we've done. Well, you know, having said that we, we, we played, our schedule has been pretty stinking tough, man. You know, we played a Hanley team that, um, we played a Hanley team that they lost last week. That's probably going to be their only loss. They're going to go nine and one. Um, you know, we, we play, uh, Spring Mills and the next week Martinsburg that one of them is going to go 10 and 0 and the other one's going to go 9 and 1 depending on who wins that game. Uh you know, you played a Wheeling Park team that's probably going to win 7 games. You played a um a, a Loudon Valley team that just got done beating Broad Run Virginia by five touchdowns. Um we played them tough. So, you know, our 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 sort of our schedule's been a little gauntlet here. We played some really quality and some really good teams. You know, having said that, we've shown some some brightnesses, we've shown some things. You know, we've gotten better at some things. Um you know, we, we, we've, we've fixed certain, certain things that we had to fix. You know, we, we really worked some on some defensive stuff last week and we did, uh, we did some, some, some things well on defense last week and some things not so well. So we're improving on areas that we focus on. It's just got to be more consistent because we'll, you know, we'll come out and be really good for four or five plays in a row and then we'll have, you know, two or three straight breakdowns in a row. So we just got to get more consistent with some of that stuff that we do. You know, it's a long season. Um, I know we're, you know, you look at, you know, half glass full, half glass empty, uh, you know, per perception thing. I know we're almost halfway done the season, but then the other side of that says we still have half of our season left. So, you know, we, um, you know, we, we look forward to continue getting better and, you know, we'll continue to keep fighting. And, you know, I, I've, I've said forever, I've coached for a long time and, you know, we've been lucky enough to be in the playoffs a lot of years that I've always told our teams, you know, you want to peak at the right time. You want to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to peak at the wrong time. So I still think our best football is ahead of us. All right, coach. Final one is our fun question this week. If you were Stranded on a deserted island and you had all the essentials already, what would you bring with you as one item that you could bring with you? All the essentials already? Um, man, I, that's a, I don't know. That's a tough That's a tough question. Uh, I don't know. Man, you, your fun questions are turning into, like, stumped questions because I don't, I don't have, I have an answer to that. Um, all the essentials? I don't know. Maybe a, a, a basketball hoop. So I could shoot. Work on the jumper. I like it. Yep, work it up. Yep, give me give me something to do. Give me something to do athletic. There we go. Right. Give me some free throws. Yep, there I we guess go. if you there just have go. a hoop yeah. and you don't have a ball, you know, it's only one item, so. Oh, that is true. Coconut oh, turns into the basketball. You could it could be like Tom Cruise on Castaway and you could uh you could make the uh you could get the Wilson and that could be your that could be your uh that could be your ball. But yeah. then that would be another item. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Coach. It's a hard question. It is. Dylan came up with it, so blame him, I guess. Because then I would say a TV, but then you would say, well, you know, what are you going to watch on TV if you don't have cable? I don't know. Yeah. What are you going to watch on TV if you don't have cable? I don't know. That's oh. a hard one. I don't know if I have an answer to this. A hoop. And then I'd, I'd find like a coconut or, or something laying around. That'd be my ball. There you go. Around, that'd be my ball.